Hey everybody, it's me Sandy and I'm back with another video. This time I'm doing a bit of a review of some base coats because I was checking for ones that might be a little more stain resistant. Unfortunately, while playing with my new camera that I'm using right now, I lost the footage of me putting on these base coats. So I'm just going to explain what I've done. I have put on each on my right hand. I put Sesh Clear on my thumb. I put the Cuda Kula on my index finger, Starly on my middle finger, Maniology on my ring finger, and the Cuccio base coat on my pinky. I then covered it with this beautiful color called Aquatic from Picture Polish, which I know has stained my nails in the past when I was just using my Zoya base coat. So I thought, well, let's try these ones out and see how they do. And unfortunately, when I was transferring the footage from my camera to my computer, the two things weren't talking to each other properly and I, I deleted as I was importing and the imported files weren't playable. It is playable when I transfer it a different way, but when I try to import it using Windows pictures and video, my new camera and my old operating system on my computer didn't want to talk to each other. So we're going to be smarter about it next time and not lose this footage, I hope, because waiting for them to become unstained takes a little bit of time. So what I'm going to do, as you can see, I have did this uh, a few days ago. I can't remember exactly what day I did it. I think it was three days ago. And uh, I didn't wrap the tips properly so the wear that I'm getting on these is more me using my hands as tools not any indication of the staying power of the base coat actually if anything all five of these base coats did really well because I actually still have polish on my fingers after three days which for me doesn't always happen so I'm gonna go and use my um, regular nail polish remover and some cotton and um, I use a soak method Basically, I put the cotton on, leave it on there for a few minutes, and then it just wipes off. I'm going to come back and show you how everything looks without the polish on it. And uh, we'll see how it did for staining. Okay, so I have all the polish off my nails. And you can see that uh, three days was enough to stain things up pretty good on my thumb. So my thumb was as clear as the pink part of these nails here. Um, it was, you know, basically in the same shape as this, except it wasn't yellow because I hadn't had anything on it that stained. That one is really green, and that's going to take me a little while. And I used all the same. I just used my regular nail polish remover with a slight bit of acetone. I didn't do anything else to my nails. I have just, like, literally done the same amount of time. They had the same amount of polish. So as you can see, Sesh Clear, not a winner. The next one I did was the Cuticula, and I used the um, silk base coat. And actually, I'm pretty impressed. For um, something that didn't say it was stain resistant, there's just a little bit of staining there. That's not bad. I'm actually pretty happy with that. So uh, this is gonna be one I'm gonna give a little more tries to. It is one that will ship to Canada. And uh, I like the idea of it being a silk base coat. So uh, we're going to have to give that one a few more tries. Now, Starly really impressed me. They do tout this base coat as a base coat that will not stain your nails. Anything that is stained in here literally was just areas in my nail that are still peeling um, from my own um, extensions that I took off a year ago. So actually, that's good that it's at the end of my nail. So now my nails will be all ready to go. But Starly, definite winner. And their polishes are great too. So, uh, not sponsored. Um, so, you know, that was that was definitely a winner. Um, I've got some other greens I'm going to try with these polishes. Because I know that they're going to be, you know, getting me. Maniology, another winner. Um, and uh, let me just say, use code that sandy chick at checkout to get 10% off your order. And yes, yeah, slightly sponsored. I do make a small commission off that. So I, you know, you get 10% off, I make 10%. So please use my code and use Maniology. But you know, they've proven good base coat. I really like this one. It is the calcium rich base coat. And I think it's good to have things that are nourishing for your nail. 
So, and this one is extremely, extremely cost effective. Um, I believe I have to check. It was six US dollars. Um, and I'll put a little asterisk on the screen if I screwed that up. But six dollars US um, only for this one for this amount of base coat. So that's a pretty good, pretty reasonably priced uh, base coat that actually did really well. And it's not one of the, um, you know, milky white base coats. So I, I was actually thinking that the green polish was going to bleed through and I'm really happy that it didn't. Cuccio didn't do too bad. A little bit of staining and I've had worse staining, worse staining with it before, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually happy with how it did. The one everybody's favorite is the, the whole Sesh brand. It's the one that did the worst, but the other four did pretty good. I, I would say though that definitely Starly and Maniology were the clear winners in this little test that I did. And they all wore about the same, so I don't know, I always have an order going with Maniology, so I'm pretty darn sure that's probably after I go through some of these going to be my base coat of choice. But uh, we'll see how they all perform. Um, in future, I mean, I'm obviously gonna use all these base coats. I will just make sure I don't use Sesh Clear for anything other than a light polish probably be my base coat under a white or something or you know something I use to make decals with but uh, yeah thank you for watching I hope that you enjoyed this video it is a quick one and I'm sorry that I didn't have the original footage for it but uh, at least I could take off the polish and show which ones didn't do so great um, but uh, if you would like to see more of this type of video me testing different products please let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell as well as like up this video and share it with anyone you think may enjoy it. That just helps the channel grow and I really appreciate you watching. So thank you and have a great day.